Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. So, over the last couple of months, we already did quite a couple of chords. Now, to do a little recap on all the chords that we did so far, we did the basic major chords, then we did all the basic minor chords, and then afterwards, we did the sharp and the flat versions of the major chords. Today, we're starting by doing the same for the basic minor chords. So, we're doing the sharp and the flat versions of the minor chords. Starting off today with the A sharp minor chord. Now, in one of the last videos, someone left a comment that I think YouTube uh, filtered out, but I still could see the message that I got, that it's not a good tutorial if you have to watch another video to progress. Now, the reason that I do that is actually so that the people that are learning, uh, that they understand the connection between the different chords, and why the positions are where they are. Though I kind of understand where that person is coming from. So in addition to references that I make to other videos, I will still explain how to exactly place your fingers on the arm of your guitar, all right? So that being said, we're going to start off with the A sharp minor chord today. We already recognize a couple of symbols here. The A chord is a chord that we already did. We know what the sharp version of a chord is, and we know what the minor version of a chord is right now. If you watch my other videos, that is. There are multiple ways in which you can start off to progress. You can start off with the A sharp version and then make it minor. Or you can start off by the A minor version and then just move it up one fret. And I'm going to do the second one because it's a little bit easier, I think. The A minor chord was right here. <laughs> and the tutorial for that video will be somewhere around here. That's a reference. I'm still gonna show you how to play the A sharp minor chord exactly. But if we start off by the A minor chord, then we can just move that one fret up the arm. We have to move the bridge as well for that. So that's where our index finger comes in and we place that over the five lower strings on the first fret. Then my middle finger goes on the second fret of the second string. My pinky finger goes on the 3rd fret on the 3rd string. And then finally my ring finger goes on the 3rd fret of the 4th string. And if we then play the 5 lower strings, we get this. Which is the A sharp minor chord. Alright? Now, like in the other videos that I showed you, there are multiple ways to play a certain chord. So I'm going to show you another way to play the A sharp minor chord. And that's basically starting off with the second way to play the A minor chord, which is right here with my index finger over all the strings on the 5th fret. And then we can also just move that one fret down the arm and then we get the, the A sharp minor chord. But if you don't start off with the A minor chord, then I'm gonna explain to you right now how to play that as well. Now, we have our index finger and we place it over all the strings on the 6th fret, like this. Then we have just our pinky and our ring finger that we have to place. Our pinky finger goes on the 8th fret of the 4th string. And then our ring finger goes on the 8th fret of the 5th string. And then we play all the strings. Right? For this to work, you have to press down the index finger quite hard certainly in the beginning. I use my middle finger to support it a little bit so it's a little bit easier, all right? But that's basically it for the A sharp minor chord. So next week, we are going to do the C sharp minor chord. So guys, I hope you learned something again today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget, I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much, and see you guys next time. Bye.